Now, with the cost of fuel soaring, many companies are cutting back or seeking an alternative to business travel. Premier Global Service offers that alternative. It provides video, audio, and internet conferencing services. Bolin Jones is the chief executive, and he is our guest for a CEO sit down. Bolin Jones, good to have you with us on, on Bloomberg. You, you know, we always kind of pitch teleconferencing and meetings online as a way to save money. But they also have developed into a world where people would never have met anyway in a business face-to-face -face meeting. But now, because of the Internet, because of this technology, they've become ubiquitous. You're absolutely right, and it's unbelievable, especially with products emerging in the video market. Um, our, we have a new product, iMeet, a video product where people not only don't need to travel, but they can have that face-to-face -face experience and that face-to-face -face interaction and really get to know somebody without having to travel to physically be where they are. Now, when you look at the changes that have happened to the technology, is as much of the growth coming from the access to high-speed internet links, fiber networks, for example, without that, you don't have this? That's a major portion of it, no doubt about it. And there's also computer technology. So 20 years ago, it was unheard of to mix computer tele technology and telephone t technology in the same place. Thus, computer telephony was the new term. Now, with the internet and the high-speed access, there's new opportunities with, with Flash and other development tools where you can bring new applications onto these high-speed networks and really start creating innovative products that, that will literally change markets. Now, are companies able to come to you and say, I want a custom solution for the kinds of meetings we do? These are certain documents that we typically share. Here are the kinds of presentations that we do. Does that mean that there is specific software that's available just for them? Absolutely. We host probably close to 50 million meetings a year and bring together about 300 million people in all parts of the world, and a lot of those meetings are customized. Some share documents, some just want to hear each other, and some want to see each other and share documents at the same time. Some want a social network while they see each other. So we do build custom applications, not for each and every meeting, but for large categories of meetings. Now, of course, technology stocks are always in the news, and the question then becomes, do they have the money to expand? What's the case with Premier Global? Well, thankfully, we've got a good operating cash flow model in our, in our business. We're not quite the margins of a software company, but we're very good margins in our operating uh, business, and um, we generate an, a good amount of cash every year, and we've got the money to plow back into research and development and create these new products while we maintain our current business, yes. Where are you seeing the growth regionally now? Regionally, we're seeing it in the last few quarters and in this first quarter. We just had a record sequential quarter from fourth quarter to first quarter of growth. And we basically saw it everywhere. It's almost like all the businesses that we cater to, not only in uh, Asia, but in Europe and North America, all at the same time just felt better back in the third and fourth quarter last year and in the first quarter this year. I wouldn't say it's back to growth the way it used to be three years ago, but it's certainly stabilizing very well. What about hiring? What about employment situation at Global? Uh, global. It's a great point. We've got, you know, we think good growth opportunities in Europe especially. Uh, we've got places geographically that we're not in yet and in South America, so we're going into those areas and obviously hiring new people. And we are hiring new people now in the United States for the first time in a couple of years. So we, we are supplementing our workforce a little bit more in the United States, but in places that we haven't physically gone to to open up offices yet, we're now opening up offices in some of those outer areas and adding people as we go. Have you seen any particular areas of the world where there are cultural challenges to getting people to have a meeting using teleconferencing facilities? You know what? It's a great question. I would say probably parts of the world, maybe Japan, Maybe China are new to it, but surprisingly, companies like in the BRIC, other companies, uh, countries like India and South America, they seem to take to it very well, very quickly as a culture. As you know, in the United States, it's become a business culture for us, literally, to have these conference calls and these meetings. So it's, it's been interesting. I want to thank you very much, Bolin Jones, the head of Premier Global Services, telling us about the future of technology and meetings online.